the AS332 Super Puma and its military variant, the AS532 Cougar, are logical successors to the AS330. By incorporating users' experiences gained from the Puma, along with new advancements in rotorcraft technology, this helicopter established a new standard and quickly gained popularity in the market. Today we're investigating the Super Puma Cougar, the second of the French Wildcat helicopter dynasty. Currently referred as the H215 and H215M, at first glance the Super Puma and Cougar may seem like re-engineered larger versions of the SA330 Puma. However, they are in fact products of a new generation rather than merely new variants. We will continue with the names AS332 and AS532 as they would sound more familiar to many viewers. In the mid-1970s, composite materials began to spread widely in the aviation industry, more powerful turbojet engines became available, and aerospatial engineers gained considerable operational feedback. Furthermore, Market competitors now offer a new generation of medium transport helicopters, including the Bell 412, S70 and S76 in the USA, the MI-17 in the USSR and the WG-30 in the UK. Consequently, nine years after the Puma made its maiden flight, Aerospecial decided to develop a new rotorcraft as a private venture in 1974 to remain competitive. Since it would reduce development time and costs, the company chose to update the proven design of the SA330 rather than create a new machine. With its familiar appearance, such a helicopter would also have a better chance in the market. The French initially aimed to attract civilian users, particularly owners of offshore patrol platforms, to increase export opportunities. The US helicopters were designed mainly for military use, rendering them unsuitable for such companies. Besides, no company from a Western or pro-Western country was interested in purchasing a helicopter from the Soviets. Aerospecial also accurately assessed the situation and did not overlook the military market. The Puma's strong reputation would already secure new export successes. After the Turbomica Macula turboshaft was chosen as a power plant, which provided more power and 17% less fuel consumption than the Turmo on the Puma, an engine testbed version, essentially a re-engineered SA330, was constructed. The machine, initially designated as the SA330R and later as AS331 Puma Makala, made its maiden flight on June 4, 1977. Emphasizing its crashworthiness, Aerospecial thoroughly revised the design of the new helicopter, called AS332 Super Puma. The fuselage was also reconstructed to enhance aerodynamics and facilitate maneuvering on oil platforms. During the design phase, French engineers equipped the SA330 with a Fenestran tail rotor to explore its potential integration into the new helicopter. Named the SA330Z, this machine did not demonstrate significant advantages leading to the abandonment of this plan. To enhance pitch control at low flight speeds, Aerospecial designers attached a controllable stabilizer to the left side of the tail rotor pylon and covered the main rotor hub with a fairing to minimize drag. The military version of the helicopter included Kevlar armor for the crew and had measures to withstand combat damage. Its infrared signature was slightly reduced. The first full-fledged prototype of the AS332 was again a modernized, unfinished SA330. The helicopter made its maiden flight on September 13, 1978. The first long fuselage Super Puma was the fourth serial machine and it first took to the skies on October 10, 1980. As Aero Special anticipated, the new helicopter quickly gained popularity in the market. Brazil, Indonesia, Spain and Turkey have also produced the Super Puma Cougar under license. As announced in November 2015, Airbus helicopters transferred all final assembly of the AS332 Super Puma to facilities in Brasov, which are operated by Eurocopter Romania, a joint venture between Airbus helicopters and IIR. The helicopter has many names. Initially, it was called by a name starting with AS, referring to the Aerospecial. When this company merged with the German MBB under the umbrella of Eurocopter, 
Its name, AS-332, remained unchanged. Then Eurocopter became Airbus Helicopters and it was renamed as H-215. The name of its military variant changed from Super Puma to Cougar in 1990. Additionally, it was designated as AS-532, which later shifted to H-215M. The helicopter is designated as HM-3, UH-14, CH-34 and VH-34 in Brazil, HD-21 and HT-21 in Spain, HKP-10 in Sweden, TH-89 and TH-98 in Switzerland, and H-9 in Thailand. Thanks to the Makula engine's significant power reserve, designers could simultaneously develop the helicopter's two basic versions, short and long. In the AS-532, the short and long variants have the letters C and L behind their designations, respectively. Due to its higher power reserve, the short variant with a fuselage identical in dimensions to the SA-330 provides better performance in high and hot conditions. On the other hand, the longer version with a 76cm extended fuselage can transport the maximum number of passengers and cargo. The all-metal semi-monocoque fuselage is designed to withstand impacts with a vertical speed of 3 meters per second. The retractable tricycle landing gear offers excellent energy absorption properties. A keel is fitted beneath the tail boom, enhancing directional stability while also absorbing impact energy. The glazing panels feature an anti-icing system. The cargo cabin of the short version measures 6.05 meters in length, 1.8 meters in width and 1.55 meters in height, providing a floor area of 7.8 square meters and a volume of 11.40 cubic meters. It can accommodate up to 21 soldiers or carry 14 wounded with 11 on stretchers and 3 on seats. The long variant cargo cabin, extended to 6.8 meters, has a floor area of 9.18 square meters and a volume of 13.3 cubic meters. It can accommodate up to 25 soldiers or 16 wounded, 12 on stretchers and 4 on seats. The cargo cabin features soundproof upholstery along with adjustable heating and ventilation systems. Both versions can carry a payload of 4,650 kg internally or underslung. The helicopter features dual flight controls and includes a duplex digital autopilot. The main and tail rotors are constructed from composite materials. Each main rotor blade's vertical hinge has an elastomer bearing that dampens blade vibrations. The short and long variants have 5 and 6 self-sealing fuel tanks respectively with total capacities of 1,560 and 2,060 liters. They utilize a crashworthy plumbing design and fire detection and suppression systems are installed in the engine bay. Versions with Makila 1A1 engines have hover ceilings of 2,800 meters. The AS-532 UC variant of the Cougar has a two-person crew and can carry up to 20 troops. It has a length of 18.7 meters, a rotor diameter of 15.6 meters, and a height of 4.92 meters. The helicopter is empty and maximum takeoff weights are 4,330 and 9,350 kilograms respectively. Two 1,820 shaft horsepower Turbomica Makila 1A1 turboshaft engines provide a top speed of 262 kilometers per hour. Its cruising speed is 239 kilometers per hour. The helicopter's range is 618 kilometers. It can climb to an altitude of 3,500 meters in other words, 11,480 feet. The AS-332A, AS-332C and AS-332C1 are the basic short fuselage civilian variants, while the AS-332L, AS-332L1 and AS-332L2 are the basic fresh civilian versions. The initial models have two 1,662 shaft horsepower Makila 1As. The number 1 at the end indicates that the version has two Makila 1A1s, while the number 2 denotes that the 1845 shaft horsepower Makila 1A2. We designated as the AS-532C in 1990, the AS-332B is the military variant of the AS-332C. Similarly, 
The AS332M, we designated as the AS532L in 1990, is the military variant of the AS332L. It is a fuselage length of 16.28 meters, an empty weight of 4,460 kilograms, and a ferry range of 1,245 kilometers. Like the civilian versions, the number 1 at the end indicates that this version has two Makila 1A1s. The letter A designates the armed Cougar, which can carry rockets or gun pods along with door-mounted machine guns and auto cannons. The letter U stands for unarmed helicopters. The AS-332C1 is the combat search and rescue variant produced for the Hellenic Air Force. It features a Bendix 1500B search radar, a clear forward-looking infrared pod and an autonomous navigation system. Turkey locally produced the AS-532AL version for the same job. The helicopter, referred to as AS-332S1 in some sources, is equipped with the Bandix 1500B search radar, a locally made Acelflur 200 forward-looking infrared pod, and the cockpit instrumentation is integrated with night vision goggles. One Kugao was equipped with the same radar as the SA-330 Orchidae for trials, however, France also cancelled this program. The AS-332F and AS-332F1 are the naval versions of the helicopter, redesigned as the AS-532SC Kuga in 1990. They carry sonar boys, a towed magnetic anomaly detector, and an ORB-32 or Aguion radar. These variants feature additional corrosion protection, a folding tail rotor boom, and a deck landing guidance system. The AS-532SC can launch AS-15TT, and AM-39 Exoze anti-ship missiles or anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. The NAS-332 is the Indonesian licensed version. The AS-532U2 Kugao Mark II is the military version of the AS-332L2. It features a Spheriflex rotor head, two 1845 shaft horsepower Makila 1A2 turboshaft engines, a glass cockpit, a self-monitoring device for onboard systems, and the 4-axis SFIM PA-165 automatic flight control system. This version can carry an additional 150 kg of payload and operate for 1 hour and 30 minutes without lubrication. The fuselage is extended by a further 55 cm, increasing the volume to 15 cubic meters and the passenger capacity to 29. Unlike its predecessor, which has a 5-blade tail rotor, the Kugao Mark II is equipped with one featuring four blades. The French Air Force operates the AS-532 Kugao Mark II A2 Resco variant, optimized for combat, search and rescue missions. The Kuga has naturally played crucial roles in numerous French overseas operations, particularly in Africa. In 1994, it took off from Zaire and transported the bulk of the French task force, intervening the Rwandan genocide. On November 25, 2019, a Kuga collided with a Taigo helicopter in northern Mali. Kuwait lost all four of its newly acquired Super Pumas during the 1990 Iraqi invasion. A Saudi helicopter crashed during Operation Desert Shield, which aimed to liberate Kuwait. In 1997, a Turkish AS-532 was shut down by an SA-7 manpads fired by terrorists. The Netherlands, Spain and Sweden deployed their helicopters in Afghanistan for medical evacuation and combat search and rescue missions. Two Spanish Kugas crashed in 2007 and 2012 during deployment. Four AS-532s transported the Spanish air assault team that participated in recapturing Moroccan-occupied Perihil Island on July 17, 2002 during Operation Romeo Sierra. The Nigerian Air Force has been using its armed Super Pumas against Boko Haram since 2015. Of course, there are many other great stories about the AS-332 and AS-532. We have mentioned only a few of the major ones. Please feel free to share yours in the comments section. The Super Puma Kuga has proven to be a worthy successor of the SA-330 Puma and has expanded the reach of the dynasty. It ranks among the most successful helicopters, both commercially and militarily. Like a true king, the legendary Super Puma Kuga raised its air the EC725 Super Kuga Karkal. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also you can now click the join button.
to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.